Hey guys, King Gear here from the Tech World, and I got a uh, tutorial for you guys today. Uh, sorry for the delay. If you follow me on Twitter, you notice that I had my mic broken, but I did pick up a new mic. Uh, this is the Blue Snowflake mic, and uh, I'll be testing this one out for the tutorials. Sounds really good. Um, uh, you know, it's really, really good sound quality. It's really crisp. Uh, I really like it. So, um, yeah. Anyway, nonetheless, I'm going to jump right into the tutorial. Today, I have a tutorial on an overview of the Camtasia Studio Editor. Um, I've done a lot of editing videos, like, you know, using Vegas, uh, you know, even from, you know, Movie Maker and working up, even doing stuff on Virtual Dub. One editor I have not touched on, though, is Camtasia Studio. Studio. I know a lot of people use this to record their videos or Camtasia, uh, you know, recorder, but this is what usually they edit their videos in. Now, I've showed my videos, uh, my settings, but I'll probably do that again for the HD settings. But I want to first give you more of a, this video is more of a, look around and what settings to mess with, you know, how to add stuff. So starting here, you can import your media, which usually I just drag my clip in to have anything in. Um, here you can use your title clip. Now this title name is just naming the clip, so this will be, will be like intro. You don't even have to name it because it doesn't even affect it unless you have multiple title clips. Here's where you actually edit your uh, text. You can add an image here if you want to. You just have to browse for it. Here's where you actually edit your text. I usually set mine to uh, Calibri or something you know, nice and readable. And by default, it's set to black on a black background, so that's something you always have to change. And I'll say, like, uh, you know, like, for this video, it would be Camtasia, Camtasia Studio Overview. And as you see there, and it doesn't look that nice. Uh, this is twelve eighty. This is 640 by 480 shrinking, but I render, in, I rec render and record in 1280 by 720. So I kind of want to make that bigger and more, you know, visible. So I usually bump it up to around 48. 48 is pretty good size. It's, you know, nice, clear. It shows. In some cases, you may have to bold it, depending on your font again. Uh, I also center, obviously. So, yeah. Uh, it kind of looks kind of jagged. I don't know why it looks kind of blurry, but, yeah. So, you can mess around with that. And once you're done, you always want to hit OK. But I'm not, for this video, I'm not going to do that. Voice narration. So, if you record something and you want to narrate it, you can use this uh, setting to uh, voice narrate it. You can, you know, record it to a track one until the end of the timeline. You know, you have a lot of audio options. Uh, your source, your microphone's right here. You can mute speakers during recording. That way, you won't get that echo if you're actually watching. If you know if you're playing back your video, uh, you can record off a camera and video. So once you're done filming your uh, video, or you can do this in the process of recording. You can add a webcam Im image of yourself. So yeah. Now editing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna I forgot I've done this. I'm gonna say test. I'm gonna use this clip and then drag it in right here. That way I get my editing options. I always set it to HD and uh, keep the aspect ratio. And again, real quick, I'm just gonna jump into my uh, recording settings. Actually, I'll do that later. All right, so I'm gonna hit okay. And um, so now, this is gonna be set to 1280 by 720, which will make it look better when it's actually enlarged. So the font size is all depending on whatever your resolution is. But uh, zooming and panning, that's one of the features that a lot of uh, certain you know, things, like you could do this in Vegas and stuff, but uh, you know, your basic stuff like Movie Maker. You can probably do this in Virtual Dub and Wax 2.0, but uh, Camtasia makes it really easy just to click it. And let's say I want to scale in this much. It kind of zo shows me the area I'm zooming into. You can do the duration, so like I want it for two seconds and then I'll zoom out. You can mess around right here on the timeline, right here to show how much, you know, you actually, you know, it goes in for two seconds, comes out, uh, stuff like that. You can also go to the advanced options, and I think I was already open. Now here's something where um, you can use tilt. Now this is uh, something that uh, I really don't use in many of my videos, but some people like to use this to make it look more a little bit cooler. And for some reason it's not working, so I'm gonna, I think I have to zoom out one second. So I'm gonna actually zoom back out of the thing as soon as I get back on the timeline. And what this does is, I'm not sure if this will show so good on a black background, but I click the advanced options. Tilt really just takes your video and tilts it to a certain like I thought, it won't show up that nice on a uh, black background. So what I'm going to do for you guys is actually change the background color of the clip. So I'm going to say uh, edit title clip and change the uh, background color to uh, something like white or green. Some bright color that kind of stands out. Hit OK. That way, when I do this tilt it shows more it shows better I should say so back to zooming and panning uh, I scroll down why is it not selecting why is it not showing the red here did I accidentally okay there you go now it shows the red so when you tilt 
when this does one. I have no idea why it's not showing. So those are keyframes. If those are just basically where it starts, where it ends type thing. But I'm, not, I'm wondering why it's not showing the tilt. Alright guys, so I'm back. Sorry, I had to pause the recording real quick because I decided just to get an actual video because this will actually work much better with an actual video showing you the tilt feature. Um, but this does, again, just adds one of those cool type of effects or looks to your video. And uh, what it does as soon as it decides to preview it here. Finally, this is just a sample video that comes to default with Windows 7. You can actually tilt, so I can say tilt this much and as you see the video is kind of like off center. It's kind of just like tilted backwards because it gives it that kind of 3D look if you kind of want it to like flap in or anything like that. It kind of just pushes it out, and again, you can tilt it. You can tilt the coordinates as much as you want, adjust the width. So you can do some pretty cool effects, or just make your video look you know a little bit fancier if it kind of like tilts out. Uh, you can you know add a whole bunch of you can add like a annotation right here to point to something. I mean anything possibilities you know uh, whatever you want to do. So many possibilities. Callouts. These are just kind of like markers so if I hit plus here just like arrows stuff like that a lot of people actually don't use these but you can actually use some really cool stuff like spotlight so you can highlight a certain thing so if I kind of wanted just to highlight the head of the seal right there you can do rounded rectangles a lot of cool stuff you can mess around with uh, transparent hotspot so you can kind of I'm guessing that's for like blur so if you want to like blur something you can uh, use a transparent hotspot or something like that so uh, anything like that you know just mess around a lot of cool features. All right, uh, let's go on here. And so let's go, what else is next here? You have transitions. Transitions are basically your, uh, just, you know, obviously just switching from clip to next if you want to make it like rotate, you know, anything like that from intro to the actual video. And options are just, or captions I should say, are uh, the same thing you can just add captions to your video that's if you want people to actually be able to read it as they go along uh, that's up to you and YouTube has that built in and uh, my, lastly the produce settings um, so you go right here and you go over to sorry add it preset I'm gonna show you my settings so people always ask this even though I make a video on it a lot of people ask obviously I'm going mp4 uh, it's flash output uh, next uh, 12 by 720 my flash options are keyframes every five seconds uh, I set the quality uh, right now it's at 55 but usually it's like right here I don't know why I didn't, didn't set it 85 uh, mp4 uh, frame rate automatic usually that'll be 30 so 30 or automatic uh, actually I'll just set that to 30 now audio 96 kilobytes per second highest 100% so yeah I'm just gonna apply that because I don't know why it's not changed already and Lastly, um, I just you, if you want to add a watermark or anything like that, you can include it right here. Just image path, the options on how big you want to show, and go ahead and render out your video. If you have multiple things you want to render out, you can do a batch production. You can create CDs. You can create a web menu. A lot of cool stuff. So this is a really fully packed uh, editor, guys. Um, if you want to mess around with more options, you can go into tools, options, and if you it also comes with a whole bunch of other stuff you can mess around with, like theater player. You can make your own little, uh, you know menus and all that crazy stuff so all the other options are within here you know for powerpoint for upgrade options uh you can set hot keys add callouts add zooms this is while you're recording or you know anything like that or just to make editing a little bit easier you can use uh, these hot keys as well so guys that concludes my video on this camtasia studio editor it really is fully featured uh really packed a lot of people don't know the uh features they have in here i mean there's more and more stuff i didn't even cover you know there's all these buttons down here the smart focus which a lot of people also ask me what that is. Basically, that just does automatic zooming for you. So um, what that does, you know, if you're focused on one certain spot like I am now, my arrow is just kind of staying still, the editor or the recorder will actually just kind of zoom in for you So because it kind of knows that you're focusing in on that one thing. So, yeah, there's a lot of other things. You can do the time. You, can, there's, you know, there's help buttons over here. Check out all that stuff, guys. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe uh, to the channel, and uh, leave your feedback. Send me emails for video uh, feedback, requests, anything like that to adriansteck at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.